This lecture covers skin cancer and what you should know about it. Take a look at what years of deep tanning can do to your skin. Be sure that your slide is in slide presentation mode and you can view this introduction to cancer. Cancer is defined as uncontrolled cell division. The cells do not know when to stop dividing. We know that there are more than 100 different types of cancer and the causes are varied. They can be environmental, they can be dietary, they can be hereditary, they can be due to viruses, and sometimes we don't know what causes them, and in that case it's called idiopathic, which means unknown cause. There are seven warning signs of cancer, and there is an acronym, CAUTION, that will help you learn and remember these signs. If you do not remember the sublayers of the epidermis, go back to the lecture on the skin and refresh your memory about them. We're going to look at three types of skin cancer, basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and malignant melanoma. Basal cell carcinoma is the most common type of skin cancer. You can see a picture of it here on the right side of the slide. It occurs most often on the sun-exposed areas of the face and their appearance is a shiny dome-shaped nodule. The basal layer is the most active mitotic layer, so it would make sense that this is where most skin cancers occur. This is also the layer in which the melanocytes are located. These types of cancers are slow growing and very rarely is there metastasis that is spreading to other areas of the body. And in 99% of the cases, surgery is the cure. The second type of skin cancer is squamous cell carcinoma. The squamous cell layer is mitotic, but it's not as active as the basal layer is. This cancer originates in the keratinocytes, and remember that those are the waterproofing cells in stratum spinosum. Most often you'll find this cancer on the scalp, the ears, and the lower lip. It grows rapidly and it will metastasize, that is it will move to other areas if it's not removed. The picture on the right shows you an example of squamous cell carcinoma. The next two slides show untreated squamous cell carcinoma and they're very graphic. You may choose not to view them if you are uncomfortable doing so. Squamous cell carcinoma is very treatable when caught early. When left untreated, here's what can happen. The third and most dangerous kind of skin cancer is malignant melanoma. It originates in the melanocytes that are found in the basal layer. Remember the melanocytes are the melanin producing cells that give color to your skin. The most deadly form of skin cancer is malignant melanoma and part of the problem is it spreads very rapidly. In the next few slides you'll be looking at the ABCDE rule of malignant melanoma. These are characteristics used by dermatologists to classify melanomas. The A stands for asymmetry, and that means the two halves do not match. If I were to draw a line down the middle in any direction, the two halves would not be identical to one another. The B stands for border irregularity, and that means that the edges are jagged. They are not smooth, and you can see this in the picture below. The C stands for color, and when the color is not uniform, it can be problematic. The D stands for diameter. Anytime the spot is larger than six millimeters in diameter, it needs to be checked. Six millimeters is about the size of a pencil eraser. E stands for evolution, and that is a mold that has gone through recent changes. Everyone is different, so knowing what's normal for you could save your life. If a mold has gone through recent changes in, say, color or size, be sure to bring it to the attention of a dermatologist. For a PDF of this information, please click here on the ABCDEs of melanoma. The next slide is an example of a malignant melanoma, and it's very graphic. You may choose not to view this if you would be uncomfortable. Someone with a malignant melanoma most often undergoes a Mohs procedure or Mohs surgery. This is where the mole is removed, and they check the edges to make sure there are no cancerous cells. If there are cancerous cells at the edges, they'll go back in and remove a larger section, and again, check to make sure that the edges are clear. This picture on the right shows you the end result of reconstructive surgery. The next two slides show extreme cases of malignant melanomas, and they're very graphic. You may choose not to view them. 
Here is a malignant melanoma of the arm. Remember that malignant melanomas are the most dangerous of the three types of skin cancer. Here is a more advanced malignant melanoma of the arm. At this stage, it's probably gotten into the bloodstream and been carried to other places in the body. Here's an important list of cancer terms that you should know. Let me pronounce them for you to make sure you know how to correctly pronounce them. And then you need to go back and learn the definitions for each. They are cancer, tumor, benign tumor, metastasis, carcinoma, sarcoma, leukemia, radiation therapy, and chemotherapy. One of the terms was sarcoma. This picture shows you what a sarcoma of the femur bone of the leg looks like. The femur is the bone in the upper part of the leg or the thigh. Sarcoma was a word in your list. This is an example of Kaposi's sarcoma, which is a sarcoma that you see in AIDS patients, and it's because they have a compromised immune system. Another term was leukemia. Leuko means white. Emia refers to the blood. Leukemia is a cancer of white blood cells. If you look at the slide on the left, that's what normal blood looks like. The one on the right shows you an abundance of white blood cells, and that is abnormal, and this condition is leukemia.